Hey, what's going on? Leron here. Thank you for joining me in today's video. And today's title is going to be Don't Follow My Advice. So I just want to give this video as, a, as a, an evergreen disclaimer. Um, in my videos, I always frame things as this is how I do it. You should do it your way. And I want to actually devote a full video for that and just kind of give you a stream of consciousness uh, of my thoughts on this. Uh, as I learn more about art and drawing and life in general, I understand more and more how, and let me get this, just so that we're in talk mode. <laughs> let me put my cap on, serious mode on. Um, the more I learn, the more I understand that there really aren't ru any rules that are set in stone. And it doesn't matter what field you're looking at, whether it's drawing, painting, even specific things like figure drawing, gesture drawing, uh, mixing color if you're painting, mixing values, doing compositions. The rules are very few. What's more important is the, in my opinion, and don't listen to what I'm saying, try and find your own path. Uh, I'm going to try and have the fewest advice I can in this video because the advice is to not listen to my advice. But to me, it's more about exploration. To me, it's more about sitting down with myself and doing the exercises, doing the work and figuring it out on my own. Any advice you learn from other people is great. It's something to consider for your toolkit, but don't ever take anything as gospel, including this, what I'm saying right now. Why? Because you may be a person that learns really fast and really well. I'm removing my sandals taking off my sandals. You can be a person that learns really well from other people, so disregard this advice. You see where I'm going with this? It is so uh, individual that you cannot follow one person's advice. Don't listen, listen to that as well, because maybe you'll find that one person that gives you everything you need. So this is the main takeaway. This is what I wanted to share with you. This is the gist of it. Now, let me expand a bit upon it. So when we're looking at drawing, for example, there's always the surface level skill. There's always the surface level of how do you draw a straight line? How do you draw a curved line? That's very shallow. That's a very basic skill. And you can learn by looking at other people, seeing how they do it, figuring out how to hold the pencil, how to do it. But these are things that are very robotic and mechanic and everyone, quote unquote, can learn. Everyone can look at a few videos and get those basic skills in. That's fine. That's great. Beyond that, it's you on your own. You are on your own journey. I do want to talk a bit more about those basic skills though, because this is where action plays an important role. It's not so much about getting the right information even, or consuming a lot of information. It's more about the time you spend doing the exercises. And you can actually get good so much faster than you think if you go on that journey of exploration, figure it out on your own. How do I draw uh, a straight line consistently? Figure it out on your own. And how do you figure that out on your own? I do want to leave that up to you, but think about it this way. Action is involved in there somewhere. So sitting down and doing it will be involved there somewhere. Um, putting a lot of thought and focus and desire in that direction will have you do the right things. So one of my biggest desires is to master this medium watercolor. And that desire leads me in the right direction. So if I have a strong enough of a desire, I will sit down and do the work. Um, I will figure out all the techniques on my own. I don't need anyone to push me to practice. I don't need anyone to encourage me to do it. I just, I don't know any other way. I'll sit down and do it. So if you're not doing it, and if you find yourself maybe having lack of discipline or something like that, maybe the desire isn't strong enough, which is fine. You know, it, it's, it's okay. Maybe you want to dabble in stuff. That's good. That's whatever works for you, right? But if you have a strong enough desire, you will find your way. And I am, I'm, I've been following so many people lately. And this video is going to be all over the place, right? So it's just and, and sit back and enjoy whatever you can of it and, and skip to the next one if you don't like it. I just feel like I have to put it out there. Um, I've been following a lot of people. And I can tell who's making real progress. And everyone makes progress. The question is, are you making this kind of progress or this kind of progress? And I'm not saying you should make progress. My, my idea is, for me, for myself, is to try and also enjoy what I'm doing. So if you're, and I'm going to um, extrapolate onto you, if you enjoy what you're doing, 
That's all the requirement, right? But also one of the things I want is to improve. So, so it is a measuring stick for me. And it's a measuring stick only in front of myself because it's really hard to put things on a scale, right? But the bottom line of what I was gonna say is I've been following a lot of people and I can see who's making real progress and you can feel their passion almost to the level of obsession. And it's so funny because the more someone is obsessed with something, honestly, and everyone says obsession is unhealthy, but I'm obsessed with watercolor. I was obsessed with it and I still am. The more you're obsessed with it, the more you want to figure it out. Right now I have a distraction. It's called anatomy and figure drawing. So I'm obsessed with that. And I've been filling up pages in my sketchbook. I've been like this Saturday, last Saturday, I've been sitting down, I've been filling page after page after page. And then one thing frustrates me, I couldn't get the noses right. So I went deep on that. I can actually show you while we're talking that the nose is frustrating. And I've shown you this on Instagram too. And I just went for it. The, the, it's not about the what to do. It really is not about the what to do, who to learn from, how to, it's about the mindset that you have. So let me show you, I'll find it, I'll find it. So here, okay, I started doing these to really get the shape of the face right. No one told me, go and get the face of the, sh the, face, the shape of the face right. I knew that's what I wanted to do because that's what frustrated me in my obsession to get anatomy, right? Um, and then I, I couldn't deal with noses because this angle should be more foreshortened. I wasn't able to get it the way I wanted. So I switched modes and worked just on the shape of the nose, the simplified shape of the nose. and did that for a while, right? And then I moved on to some more and then whoops, disconnected much, much better because I did these studies, right? And ultimately it was like magic. Like the last one was, the, and I did this one, it was okay. But then the last one is the one I was happiest with. And then I could stop my session after filling in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I also did manga faces, 11, 12, like 12 pages of sketchbook filled with either these kinds of things or what you just saw. So when you truly want something, you will find your way. If you truly want to understand something in, in a very deep level, you will find your way. You don't need me to tell you what to do, right? So a lot of these questions, this is why a lot of the questions I get asked, I delegate to explore, find your own way because I cannot give you the answer because my answer is gonna be do it this way. That's how it works for me. It's not how it's gonna work for you. It will not work for you the way I do it most of the time. Anything that is not just a surface level skill, how to hold a pencil, how to mix, even mix a value, right? How to do these basic actions, yes, I can teach you. Beyond that, the only thing I can do is share my way and hopefully it will aspire, uh, inspire you to do it your way, okay? Uh, it will inspire you to do the same thing that I do in a way, um, which is just exploration. It's just a journey of exploration. The more, I, the more I go through it, the more I understand that my goal in a way is just that authenticity of doing it my way, of removing every external layer that isn't my style, removing every external influence and just doing the thing that is me. Okay, I'm not, I'm not running away from influences. I'm not trying to avoid being inspired by others. What I'm doing is trying to find the core, my core, which is, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, to me, it's just about doing more and more and painting more and more. I know this is super abstract, but I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to make sure that you understand that all I can do from my angle is to show you what I do. That's what this place, YouTube, social media is about. I can show you the way I do it, but beyond the basic skills, you have to do it on your own. And if you want it hard enough, you will be able to get it. And if you feel like you're slacking off, maybe you don't want it hard enough and that's not a good or a bad thing. That's just where you're at. And I'm big on understanding what you really want. So this goes back to exploration, right? And it goes back to discipline and all of those things. If I tell you be disciplined, what are you gonna do with this advice? It won't do too much to you because if you're undisciplined, you're undisciplined. If I tell you sit down every day and paint, if you have the desire to do it, you will. And if you don't, you won't. Which is why a lot of the things I try to do here is just show. It's just show, look at this, right? And then you take it and do whatever you can with it. If I can spark a desire in someone, that's great. If I can spark a, an authentic want in someone else, to see what I'm doing and say, oh, I wanna do something like that. I wanna find my own path with this medium, whatever, watercolor or sketching, whatever it is. I'm happy to do that. 
And then I can reflect to you what I'm doing. Here's how I'm painting this. Here's a technique. Here's how to do it. But always look at it from the mindset of find the thing that works for you. This is all about self-exploration. I can only show you what I'm doing in a way, right? So in the next video, when I talk about in a, in a few days or whatever, when I tell you to mix this, do that, or to, to achieve this kind of effect you want to or you have to, again, take it with a grain of salt. I cannot provide you with a foolproof method. There is no such thing. You have to find it on your own beyond the basic skills, right? So don't listen to any of my advice or in parentheses, listen to it, synthesize it, find what works for you and then use that, okay? And um, anyone who says this is the only way to do things is probably unaware or naive or lying. So there's just millions of ways of doing things. And I think, and, and I'll leave you with a quote I recently read that I really, really like, and that was, a person does not beat their competition, they become their competition. What does this mean? If you're competing against someone in the way of comparing yourself to someone, someone you admire even, comparing yourself and trying to strive to become better than them, you don't surpass them. You end up just becoming them and your style goes into, into the, the, what do you call it? Like it, it goes into the mean, the baseline of what everyone else is doing, which is why I do think some distance works well for me from other people's paintings. Not running away from them or looking at them, but giving myself the time to self-explore without that influence uh, of other people because everyone is just unique based on your constitution, the way you are, the way you were born. You will end up creating art in a unique way, but people are so influenced by others and are trying to compete with others and, and become as good as others. And what ends up happening is you just turn, that's your authentic style, that's someone else on their path, and you're kind of just like moving towards that where you should be moving in a completely different direction. And that's, I believe that's why when you look at artists, that are like, wow, you look at their paintings, or like Mark Foley was one of them for me. Obviously, Joseph's book, which when I got started, Alvaro Castaneda, that, that wow factor is because they were able to carve out something that is truly theirs, right? And don't listen to what I'm saying right now too. Maybe you'll find your way following one artist, you know? So that's, that's my bottom line here. I don't want to ramble on. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you have, let me know in a comment down below. I'm curious to hear, right? Um, and if you're new around here, I have a lot of how to's, a lot of videos that show you how I do things that you can learn from. Um, and this is it. I will talk to you again real soon.